Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we will discuss about uh, one more topic in DBMS that is a uh, ER model. So what is this ER model? So ER stands for Entity Relationship Model. So in the previous sessions, we have discussed about what is an entity and what is a relationship and what are the different types of relationships, right? So this ER model is a pictorial representation, a pictorial representation of database of database showing entity types entity types and their relationships their relationships right so identifying the entity types and the relation between the entity types and completely representing that in a diagrammatic format is called a ER model, right? Entity relationship model. Now, what are the components of this particular ER model? Components. Components of ER model. The first one, entity. entity attributes attribute relationship relationship so these three are the major components of any er diagram so we have studied about these entities what is a strong entity Another one is a weak entity. Weak entity. Coming to the attributes, we have seen simple attribute, composite, key attribute, single value, multi value, multi value. And relationships we have seen in the previous session that is a one to one, one to one relationship, one to many relationship, many to many relationship, many to many relationship. So these are the major components of any ER diagram, any ER diagram, right? So first we need to identify the entities. And then we need to identify the attributes for every entity there will be a different attributes so we need to identify the attributes and then we have to identify the relationship among the different entities because this is a rdbms there should be a relation between two different tables so that relation should be defined with the help of this relationship right and for everything as i said that er diagram or er model is a high level representation and it is a diagrammatic representation of a database so we there there are different notations for each and every entity or attribute or a relationship right so hope you understood this basic introduction about the er model what is a er model and uh, what are the components of a er model or er diagram right so i will stop here in the next session we will see the notations what are the different notations for these so uh, how to identify the strong entity i mean how to represent the strong entity using a diagram how to represent the weak entity using a diagram, how to represent the attributes of an entities and how to represent the relationships, right? So everything we'll see in the next session. So uh, let's stop here. And if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.